Jackson Thomas last updated 1532, September 30, 2017 The Gribblehurst Bowling Green is set for facelift. Two toxic bowling greens at Auckland's Gribblehurst Park will be transformed into a community garden, but not everyone is happy with the decision. On September 28, the Albert Eden Local Board agreed to grant a one-year lease over the unused greens to the Gribblehurst Community Hub. The hub is an organization that offers services such as education, knitting, 3D printing, robotics and improvised theater. Gribblehurst Community Hub Chairman Andrew Dixon says the group are open to working with the community and want feedback on what to do with the newly acquired space. With a lease, the board had also committed about $80,000 to rejuvenate or bury the toxic soil from the old greens. Redmore Auckland Bowling Club could be yours for $8 million new roof equals new members at Bowling Club The Albert Eden Local Board have committed $80,000 to rejuvenating the toxic bowling green. The plan was to split the site into two with a community garden on one half and an empty turf on the other. Gribblehurst Hub Chairman Andrew Dixon said he hoped it would become a space accessible to all members of the community. However not all elected members were in support of the lease. Member Rachel Langton said she was concerned that such a large space was being privatized and believed local sports clubs could make better use of it. The lease is for sole use by the community hub, which is effectively privatizing public space for the exclusive use of just one organization, and there is significant demand for training fields across Albert Eden from our local sports clubs. A 2014 report, conducted by Auckland Council consultant Judy Longdale, concluded that the central isthmus had the highest shortfall of sports field availability in Auckland. There were 818 winter sports fields secured for community use in the Auckland region, 94% of which council owned or had lease agreements on with the balancing club, school or private ownership. The Eden Rugby Club, also at Gribblehurst Park, was bursting at the seams after a big increase in membership numbers, Langton said. The Expelling Club land was already flat and could make for a perfect training field to help satisfy demand in Albert Eden, whether it be for Eden Rugby or another group, she said. No rugby, soccer, or netball club in the Albert Eden area had an exclusive lease over their land or court space and instead had to book it for every use. This included the main sports field in front of the Eden Rugby Club rooms, Langton said. Local board chair Peter Haynes said the objection to the lease was an attempt to undermine a communitile initiative doing great things. A resolution to the lease recommendation noted that the hub were open to allowing the space to be used by the neighboring rugby club and the general public, he said. Eden Rugby Chairman Mark Bateman said the club had indicated a number of times that they would like the use of the bowling greens for training, but were not notified of the hub being granted the lease or that it was even on the cards. As one of the few Auckland rugby clubs to increase its membership, in both the junior and senior players, year on year we are desperate to get more training space, Bateman said. The old bowling green would be an asset for training as well as being a good space for the public to use during the day. It would also allow the main playing area to be rested. In February 2018, Eden will host of National Today Club 7's tournament having won the corresponding event in 2017 and earning the right to host. 16 sides were expected to attend, and without access to the greens, they will have nowhere to warm up, Bateman said. Stuff.